Hi folks, Steve here at Voss Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2024 Venture RV Sport Trek Model 291 Rear Kitchen RK. A uh, great trailer, really like this trailer. We had it in the past, uh, it was easy to sell. There's lots of reason for it. I think you'll be able to see that when we get in, especially. But uh, just a few specs about it. It is a trailer that's uh, 33 foot overall length, that's including the Tom. It's just a little shy of 7,000 pounds, so it's extremely towable. But yet, this, the roominess inside uh, is uh, it, it definitely would accommodate somebody that wants to park it permanently. So, very towable, but also very spacious enough to be parked and used on the weekend. Um, Venture RV, as usual, tons and tons of features. Uh, very interesting stuff. I think we'll kind of go around. Uh, all of them so you'll be able to uh, judge by yourself uh, price extremely aggressively uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck really like them they sell well they look great they're well built plywood deck floor for example uh, standard on all their product um, so let's 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 not waste any time and let's get started on some of those features and I know I'm gonna be talking a lot about the uh, features that pretty much a lot of manufacturers are using but I just want to point them out we're gonna go quick don't want to take too much of your time and uh, so we'll get going right here at the front we have an electric tongue jacks uh, there's an LED lights on it two propane tanks you get a battery disconnect right there on the tongue so once uh, you're not using your trailer for a couple weeks just flick the switch to the red portion and your battery is no longer connected to the trailer you're not going to drain it a stone guard beautiful front cap also a beautiful panoramic window right here on the front um, rain gutters and spout extension including the rear walls storage compartment large access so it's easy to get the stuff in and out uh, magnetic holder and slam latch handle i know a lot of uh, again manufacturers are using it but uh, you know, standard features uh, motion detector lights in the storage compartment uh, there's also a switch right here in the storage compartment it's because there's four uh, blue led ground effect lighting on that particular trailer uh, the underbelly is fully enclosed and heated as well. We get four Caesar Jack on it. Uh, let's keep going. Electric awning. As you can see, very, very large. LED light strip right on there as well. A uh, new uh, track step. So really like that. Very, uh, very sturdy on the ground. New this year. A different grab handle. Look at the size of that. You don't need to reach. It's right here. If you had one too many, not an issue getting into your trailer. Screen door, uh, screen defender. So pet friendly. It's actually metal on the bottom. You can actually remove it if you want. It's also self-closing screen door. It's little things we don't really get to notice by looking at things. So I'm really, really liking that. Uh, the door is ready to receive a pleat of shade in it if you want. We have a bottle opener, doggy shoulder. Oh, by the way, folks, you're probably going to notice the trailer is a little dusty. We still have to give it a bath. Uh, Goodyear endurance tires. So load range E, that would be 10 ply on aluminum wheels. Really like that. We have the little Cafe Bistro outdoor kitchen if you want. A uh, little fridge, plenty of room for all your drinks. Uh, hot and cold water to the sink and a nice little griddle and this year they added these little locks to the hardware i'm really liking that it locks in place out and it locks in place in uh, what else do we have on the outside uh, power outlets and cable if you choose to bring a little tv there's even a sticker for your tv backer locations uh, gas quick connect underneath we have on-demand water heater this year, standard on all of the sport track. Recessed bumper, so we don't have as much overall length. We actually cut three inch uh, from uh, two years ago in the length, and basically it's the bumper that was just recessed. But the beauty on this one is, of course, there's a two inch class three trailer hitch. It's mostly designed to bring a bike rack. It can handle 250 pounds or a basket. Uh, we got a backup camera ready, roof ladder, We'd like to get on the roof to show you something. It's 200 watt solar panel on that particular trailer with a 30 amp charge controller. We'll see that on the inside. Uh, back here, there's not a lot, but very importantly, rack and pinion slide out system. It's not a cable system. It's not a Swintech system. It is the best the industry has to offer. 
double wiper seals on these units so you get, we're trying to keep the water out folks there's twice the security here there's also a bob seals it's in a track it's never coming out a lot of manufacturers are still using uh uh stick and peel bob seals now at the front i didn't get to show you but there's a little uh outside shower as well a cable and satellite connection and uh, a, a, a little lever to fill up your freshwater tank and it also has a black tank flush now this trailer because the kitchen is so far away from the bathroom there's two gray tanks one allocated for the kitchen in the kitchen alone all right so let's go inside where the magic happens like those big handles Lift them up, lift them to the side. Again, let's uh, let's talk about the length. About 29 and a half foot of box, so 33 foot overall length. That's including the tongue. It's got a decent sized kitchen. We're right here. Let's start it with this little area here. Plenty of kitchen counter, really like that. Two windows to the outside, so you don't feel too claustrophobic. You get to see. Uh, what's happening outside really like that uh, LED lights underneath the cabinet in the kitchen uh, there is two power outlets one two enough LED lights to bright up that particular area lots of top cabinet and well as you can see there is a shelf that's already made there you go folks that can't get any better than that now <laughs> cutlery Oh no, you don't need to worry about cutlery. There is four of those drawers here. Ball bearing hardware. The whole drawer extends right out. You don't need to reach with your hand to get to the back of it. Really liking that. Uh, a place for a garbage can. Now this is where your water heater is. So it's not accessible. But there's still plenty of room for a few other things. You get a uh, uh, Furion 3 burner stove. Really like that. Flush mounted bifold glass but what i really like is the quality of the cast iron grill on it oven pretty nice as well it's all animal finish just like the one you have at home a great new addition in the rv industry a few years back now sink farmer style and uh, very deep uh restaurant style tap it's got a good feel to it and one of the things that i like they added the uh, etched with the company logo and it can be used as a cutting board and it also fit right here on the sink really big fan of that it's just very nice little details and uh, people really like them range hood vented outside folks half the trailer on the market do not do that uh, microwave and of course uh, full-size pantry with a automatic or um, a light that will turn on automatically when the door open uh, what I really like about it is that it didn't make the shelf go all the way to the edge. So you still got some room to hang a broom or maybe one of those little small handheld vacuum if you want. It's great. Now, uh, while we're here, may as well, another drawer, pots and pans. Again, full extension. thing with Venture in their drawers is that they open so nicely. It's not like you have to fight with them. Uh, 10 cubic foot. 12 volt fridge and freezer just like at home it's very deep so the gas electric fridge is getting more rare in the industry and the problem with it is it took so much space at the back away from the fridge because you needed to be able to vent uh the fridge up to the to the ceiling so there was a gap in the back that you couldn't use now you can use the entire depth and it gives you so much more fridge uh your booth traditional booth on this one uh, it is uh, the freestanding table and chair comes as an, op as an option, but the boot because we wanted an extra sleeping arrangement, and the reason why is because we did choose to bring them in or to bring that particular trailer in with the theater sitting. Now uh, the boot I really like. I'm sorry when I go to the restaurant and I'm at the front line and I ask the stewardess what I want. I want a boot, you know. So a freestanding table and chair is great at home in a trailer. Boot to me is the way to go a lot of extra storage and venture had those plastic bin that you can actually take inside the house fill them up and bring them into the trailer when you are traveling really like that you get one on each side now theater seating it's just not a regular tz sitting it's actually reclined it will fold almost flat 
Uh, the beauty about it is that it comes with massage and heat. Now, this is 110 only, but if you're plugged into the campsite, there's no issues. Uh, it works pretty well. After 20 minutes, it's pretty nice and toasty. And uh, you get that nice little vibration uh, that will make your back uh, numb. All the windows comes with roller shades, self-closing or slow-closing self uh, roller shades. I really like those. Uh, you don't get to see through them. Uh, and the, the, the windows are very tainted. So during the day, you can have them up. The light will come in. But at night, you roll them down. You can't see through it. A bank of cabinet above. LED lights on a switch. And this is sitting right across from the theater uh, center. So, a 40-inch TV. What I really like, it is on an arm. And that arm moves to uh, give us access to a huge amount of storage right behind. Now, this year, new GBL soundbar. It's Bluetooth as well. And right below, we have our fireplace that actually produces heat as well. It's 1400 watts. comes with a remote control. Uh, you can choose the color of the flame if you want. And right above the TV, another huge storage compartment. And if this wasn't enough, well, I'll get my cameraman to turn around. We have a little hutch here, really like that. Uh, perfect to drop your keys and your phone. There's a power outlet right there. Lots of storage. Same thing below. So another place to put the extra shoes, and we'll talk about extra shoes in a moment. Storage above as well. And as you can see, this is blocked, and the reason why is because there's a little hidden compartment right here at the end. And there's a power outlet and a 12 volt outlet, and that's a perfect spot to charge your tablets or your phone. Now we're talking about the extra shoes because there's a nice little sitting area here, and a spot below to throw, throw away all of those flip flops. Uh, four double hooks for your coats. Fire extinguisher right there by the door. It's amazing. Now, motion detector light by the entrance, the same as uh, in the pantry and the same as in the outside storage compartment. New this year, Venture redesign uh, the frame around the window. I'm really liking it. Again, they put their logo on it. It's kind of nice. Little hallway. They added an extra window, folks. How often will you be in a trailer and there's no window here? It is an extra cost. The glass is expensive, but it needed a little bit of extra light uh, coming in from outside and the window is a nice add-on. Not only that, but it also opens. Now, all the windows open in this trailer, folks, including the one at the end of this light out. Now, uh, while we're here, uh, your 30 amp charge controller. So that will tell you the status of your battery and how much, uh, how much the sun is charging them. Uh, your thermostat for your furnace, and we have a monitor panel right here slide out button, awning button, monitoring your tanks uh, and, and some of the lights as well. Uh, your water pump and there's a tank heater and a fresh water tank. The bathroom, it's more than adequate. Often I find the sink to be too small or the vanity to be too small. Here is perfect. The stainless steel sink is a decent size. The vanity is great. There's a little bit of room for your shaving kit. They use the entire space for the medicine cabinet and they actually put a shelf in there. Foot flush porcelain toilet and a 36 by 30 shower stall with the shower surround, a skylight on 5 foot 8. There's plenty of room. You can be an extra foot tall and there's no issues at all. And a designer curtain. Now, a few extra things on in this particular space. Uh, our on-demand water heater controls are right here. A GFI a power outlet. Most likely this will be connected to the outlets outside as well. So if uh, you plug something outside it's not working. You may have just triggered a GFI. We have a light switch and a power fan switch. It's kind of nice. There is a motion detector night light and we have the Level Mate Pro. Basically, this is a little device that connects to a nap on your phone, free download, and it will help you level your trailer. It will tell you when you're side to side level and when you're front to back level as well. A customer adored this little. Uh, device because it makes uh, uh, parking the trailer a lot easier. Now, bedroom folks, uh, 60 by 80 queen size bed, uh, bed spread and shams uh, included. Now 60 by 80 is the same as at home. Uh, shirt closet first, you can see it goes all the way to the ceiling. There's some real bars here, 
really like that. Now, what I really like about this room is, of course, the extra closet they were able to stick here. Again, there's a real bar, and look at the size of the drawers. Holy mo, there's three drawers. So, a spot for a TV, one, two, three windows. There is a fantastic fan, rain sensor, thermostat controlled, remote controlled. With the portable remote, you can bring it with you uh, in bed and put it on the side uh, nightstand and side nightstand. Well, once the sham is out, you can see there's a little shelf, there's a power outlet, and then on the other side, there's also a USB outlet. I'm a big fan. The front window does have a blind. You don't have to worry, folks. If you like to sleep in in the morning, it's not an issue. The bed lifts up. It's on gas struts. A couple things to point out. Plywood bed base and, of course, the gas struts uh, uh, to uh, help move it up and down. And they actually keep the pass-through storage on the outside closed off from underneath the bed. So your dirty lawn chairs or barbecue is not going to get mixed up with your clean extra blankets and pillows. Uh, what else? Well, uh, there's a light switch on the wall as well. The furnace is vented through the floor. The AC is vented through the roof and all the vents are closable on the AC. So folks, I think we've been around. I know I missed a few things. And that's why you need to stop by and see it for yourself. I'll be able to point out the things that I missed. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Or better yet, like I said, stop by. We'll be happy to demonstrate. Um, if, if you have any questions, I don't do, please give us a call or send us an email. Folks, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.